Hey guys, this is Tim Franklin again, doing another tutorial on exporting a file for a pretty good looking basic DVD. What we're going to do is we take our sequence and Command E or just export. We're just going to go right in encoder. And to start off with, we can go to our DVD settings right here. What we're going to pick usually is NTSC DV wide. My footage is 24 frames per second, so I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to drag it over top of that and select this. And I'm going to go in here because the settings right away are not exactly what we want. This is one thing, this is very important right here. So you want to change this VBR 1 pass to VBR 2 pass. And when you have a longer sequence, you can make sure that it's going to fit on a DVD by looking at the estimated file size. This is a small file, so it's only 52, but you don't really want to go over 4.5 gigabytes. So to lower the estimated file size, you basically are just going to drag this way down. So let's say your file is like 5 gigabytes. You just lower this down so it ends up being at most 4.5 gigabytes. I'm going to keep this at 5 here. And the standard was pretty good. So 2. Make sure it's VBI 2 pass. You can adjust your frame right here. Hit OK. Okay, so my export finished. And you're going to end up getting these WAV files and M2V. And you're going to actually have to use both files to actually make the DVD. So you just kind of look at the look at the file, select both of these here, and then just open up Encore, new project, name whatever you want. I'll just keep it as untitled and just drag these right in. Because of the fact that we already transcoded this, it goes to DVD transcoded status, don't transcode, untranscoded. So select both of these, new timeline, and it opens it right up. And if you want to create any chapter markers, it's just shift eight. It's a little bit easier than pressing this button. So just create some random, well, maybe not for you random, but uh, <laughs> you can create some of that stuff. So, at least for this, I'm just gonna create a really basic thing. So, go under name. So you select this panel, project panel, and you can rename certain aspects of the disk. So you can rename your the disk name. The first play. These are. This is like the most important setting right here. It's gonna say where exactly this is going to start when you first put it in. And so I'm going to go to, I'm going to make sure it's on chapter one. You can also pick whip to the chapter that you want, but obviously chapter one for here, override. You can just set the chapter one title button, chapter one. And then you have to select your sequence and there are other options. The end action, do you want it to start again? Do you want it to stop? I'm gonna set the stop because I don't want it to repeat when the thing is done. Menu remote, return to last menu, that's fine. Now I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna to go to build, and then just switch all this to DVD, DVD disc, or you can do an image. They're both valid. So if you wanna make more than one DVD, and you only has one disc drive, I recommend making a DVD image, but a lot of times I'll just do DVD disc because I'm only going to make one. Now here, so I don't actually have a DVD burner here. I have a MacBook Pro, so I don't actually have a disc drive, <laughs> but I use this on my work. So I change this to whatever recording device I have and then hit build. And most likely, when you hit build, this is going to come up. And then you can look at the options, but a lot of times, you don't really need to fix anything. You hit build, and then that should create your DVD. That about wraps it up. So subscribe to my channel if you found this useful. And watch out for some more tutorials.